All right, today I'm going to work on the dress uh, below the belt, uh, here in the front and in the back. It's going to probably be a pretty boring video because of that, but, uh, well, just got to do what I got to do. All right, back to work on the clay. Time to play with some clay. I got to figure out how these wrinkles are going to be and uh, how the dress is going to look. What I'm doing is I'm just adding texture to the uh, dress. So this part of the dress matches the upper part of the dress. I'm using a fine serrated edge on this sculpting tool. By the way, I checked with Foundry last night. I sent an email to them with photographs of the uh, clay the way this is right now, and they said that they could cast that. No problem. So I'm going to leave that feature on this because I I like the uh, kind of the unplanned look of it. But anyway, I've been working on the uh, clothing under her left arm and uh, part of the dress. I've got to make it castable, so I've had to do a lot of filling in underneath the clothing and underneath the uh, arm so that they can pull the mold out without having to make a separate mold. You've got to constantly concentrate on how they're going to cast something before 
before you take it to the foundry. Because it could end up costing you way too much. Although these days, the cost of everything has gone sky high. I've got one bronze that used to cost me 1800 to cast. Now it's going to cost me about 4100 bucks to cast. And that's just within the next last year or two. And it's because of supply problems, high fuel costs, all kinds of cost increases. All right, I'm adding a uh, blanket roll. I've got to make it more fluid looking, and I also want to make it... Uh, stand out a little bit more from the uh, dress. I'm spending a lot of time on the uh, this part of the robe, uh, trying to make it uh, easy for them to make a mold of it, and uh, yet have it look like it's a robe. There's several wrinkles caused by the bunching up of the uh, material under the belt when she tightened up the belt. So I just need to reflect that. Well, I was hoping to get this done today, but I'm not going to. I'll have to finish it up tomorrow on the uh, back of the dress. I've done a lot off camera today because, quite honestly, a lot of what I've been doing is boring and not camera worthy. But I will be back tomorrow. I'm going to been doing a lot of filling in to make it easy for the... Uh, mold maker and uh it takes time to do that and that's the boring part like like that <clears throat> you can't have a lot of vacant areas and i've been filling in the vacant areas today all right, everybody, have a great night. I will uh, see you manana. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.